5 of our cricket camp, okay, so we're going to start our, our warm up first, okay. For some of the drills that I do in cricket, okay, I use a tennis racket, it's really, really useful for catching practices uh, with the tennis balls as well. So if you have a tennis racket at home and something that can hit to you, is really good, okay. So, Mark, you're going to do your warm up today, okay, it's good there. Hey right, Mark, we'll do some short catching first, okay, so when you take your catch, I want you just to pop a, an underarm ball back to me and I'm going to hit back to you, okay, so. Let's see how you're catching us. Good. Yeah. On your toes all the time. Good. Yeah. Good balance. Right. Okay, in a nice position. Watch the ball. Oh. Watch the ball right in your hands. Okay, so this time you're going to catch right handed only. Okay, so when you get it, just pop it back into my hand. I'll give you another catch. Okay, so you move it across. Good. Okay. Yeah. Right, let's catch your little higher one. Yeah, again, top corner. Good. Okay, right, a couple more. Then do the knees. Yeah. Okay, left hand catch. Okay, so watch the one on your left hand. Really concentrate. Up, oh, good. Yeah. Down. Yeah, good take. Got the arm adjusted. Right, balls going to go anywhere now. Okay, here we go. Yeah, hold on, watch the right in the hands, great stuff. Yeah, good grab. Okay, good. Oh yeah, Mark, this time the catch is just going to come a little flatter out and just a little bit harder. Okay, so just to get your reactions ready. So we drop the ball. Yeah, again. Yeah, great catch, great catch. Good. You're really ready for all several well done. Anticipated it well. Yeah. Okay, go here, go here, okay. Yeah. Good reactions. Okay, right Mark, this time I'm going to be working with a couple of tennis balls, so this time I'm going to do a few higher catches. So I'm going to get a ball, I'm going to knock it off, just under arm back to me, and I might do another ball on there at the same time, okay? Right, so watch out in your hands, get underneath the ball, okay, you're away. Good, up, good, yeah, lovely, good stuff, keep going, excellent. Again, that way, yeah, a little bit higher, yeah, up, three more, good, again, over, and hold there, fantastic. Okay, well done, good work. So just a wee, a, a wee warm up exercise, really good. Okay, for getting your feet moving, watching the ball in your hands, catching right hand, catching left hand. The shot that we play today, okay, is the lofted drive. Okay, so what we're going to do, Mark's going to be on a stance, okay, starting from the, the stumps, um, the little yellow cone, okay. Now then, Mark, I'm going to drop the ball and it's going to bounce out right here. So what are you going to do to hit that? So step out, we're going to play there, perfect, okay. Or if we see this time, or if you can hit the wall, Okay, and hit it uh, without bouncing. Okay, so it's a lofted drive. Alright, so that's the way you go. Okay, right, you go. Yeah, good shot. Good. Okay, again. Yeah, good shot. Okay, again. Step out. Beautiful. Okay, one more. Oh, six runs. Okay, this time, Mark, you just show us just uh, that little chassis move with your feet. So you position there, there, and just a little double step there, okay? So just shows again, so the ball is pitching about here, okay? There you go. Steps in, gets to the pitch of the ball, and just shows how you're striking the ball, Mark, go ahead. So that comes here, okay? So we're hitting the ball over the bowler's head, in that position, so the ball goes on. Okay, now you use this shot, okay? Maybe if you see space and there's no failures behind the bowler, you're trying to hit down there, okay? So set yourself a little target, Somebody drop the ball to you, you step out and see how many if you can uh, aim at the wall. Okay, this is obviously something we try and uh, outside, okay? So Mark, show us one more time. So it's just a simple little drop, move out, lovely shot. Okay, so lofted the drive, okay, so a really useful shot to have. Now then, if you have somebody else and you want to challenge them, okay, what we'll do, uh, John, do you just come out for me a wee second? 
So that's the time of a lofted drive. Joan, if you just want to go down to the bottom of the hall, Mark, we're just going to step on here. Yeah. Okay. So that's the time, Mark, we're just going to step out. We're going to drive the ball and we're going to see maybe, you know, can you get it over John's head, maybe somewhere down there. Um, see if you're not going to score, uh, score runs as John's on the boundary, okay? So you step out. Oh, we got good. Try and make the fielder down there. Okay? Step again. Oh, this shot, good. Right, one more, Mark, one more. Good. Okay, once you've done that off uh, a bounce feet, Mark, once you've done it off a bounce feet, then you're going to have a feet where the ball is just thrown onto you. So this time, Mark, you're going to have to uh, move your feet. Now this time, either choose to, and what he calls, we've done some batting already this week in the drive, so we've done a lofted drive now, we also have the drive along the ground, so as I feed the ball to Mark, I'm going to say to him either a lofted drive or on the ground, okay? John, if it's on the ground, our fielder's going to try and stop the ball from hitting that back wall, okay? So that's the way you go this one, okay? Mark, the first one you're going to move out the drive, now this one's on the ground, okay? So on the ground first, okay? okay. That's good and job. Okay, good shot. Right mark again, on the ground. Right, another one go, yeah. Good feet moving, okay, on the ground again. Good shot, beautiful shot. Four runs all the way, four runs, okay. Right, that's one. So we're going to try and just mix it up a little bit. Right mark, we're in the air this time, okay. So we're going to hit in the air. Right again. Yeah, just touch, okay. One more. Okay, on the right again. Okay, all right. Okay, so a couple of options there for you to try. Okay, so just moving out the drive. All right, just remember, Mark, just show us from sideways on there, yeah. Okay, so the ball pitches. Okay, if we're hitting there, Mark, just show us your position your back. Okay, so making contact. That one's a lofted drive. You can go to the end and just show us this time what you do if you're hitting the ground. This time slightly different. Elbow over the top of the ball, head over the top of the ball, okay? You're making contact there and it stays down. So it's a really good one to try at home, okay? So have a go at that. Set yourself up a target. If you've got a fielder, uh, head towards a fielder and try doing it as well off a bounce on a drop. And then as well off a bounce on just a feed. Okay, have a go at that one. We're going to now work on some overarm throwing. Okay, so the technique that we use for the overarm throw. Okay, so again, when you're holding the ball, um, we can have our fingers just and behind the ball there. Okay, thumb supporting underneath. Um, what we do, okay, just to practice this one with your partner. Okay, or against the wall is perfect with your partner. We've got Mark here. Okay, as we go down, Mark, we just down on one knee. I'm a, I'm a right-handed thrower. Okay, so. My left, uh, my left knee's up, all right, right knee in the ground. And the most, guys, one of the most important things uh, when you throw is that your elbow and shoulder are in that position, okay? So, Gerald, if you can put the camera in there, just in that position, okay? So that's what we're looking for all the time, okay? Nice high arm there and straight. So what's our partner, okay? So I'm just going to point the mark. That's where I want the ball to go, okay? And through, yeah. Okay, so point, arm up. Right, then we get a bit more confident. Okay, we think we got a bit more power. We just go from there again. Okay, so we're pointing again where the ball goes. Elbow nice and high. And through. Yeah, into that position each time. Yeah, straight away. And if I was practicing that at home, I'd be trying to do a hundred throws against the wall off my partner. But I've done that. Okay, Mark, we're going to go to our feet. Okay, and it's the same thing. Okay, so we take point. Where I want the ball to go, stand it slightly sideways on, nice high arm there, and through. Yeah, so running straight into that position. Okay, we step forward with our left foot, left foot step forward. Okay, right, so okay, then Mark's now going to throw, um, he's down in his starting off position, okay, um, so we're going to ask him to throw the ball and see if he can come 
Mark Buffer channel lines on the bottom here, then you threw them all the way here, from here across here, and you just threw all in here. Okay, so let's have a go. Off you go. Good. Okay. Again on the other side. Good. Lovely. Nice high arm. Perfect. Okay. One more on the other side. Fantastic. Okay. Mark, this time. Do you want to have a go and just if you can move back a bit on the steps? Yeah, perfect. Right. So now you can stand up. And we'll do the same thing. Okay. So you're getting your, just push your arm position. There. Yeah. Perfect. Front arm pointing out. Okay. So we're throwing. There, front arm point where we want the ball to go, but uh, the hand of the ball is in, just elbow high there across your shoulder. Okay, off you go, Mark, you me. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic, okay. Right, Mark, let's say it. Okay, what we see? All right, we have three sets of stones. Okay, and what I'll do, I'm going to bring them quite close together. Okay, so we have a good target for you to hit here. Alright, for a couple we go and see if you hit a target for us. Nearly, okay, right, try again. Well done, fantastic. Right, again, can you hit again? Come on, we'll do another three. Three targets. Here they are. Okay, one ball is. Yeah. Very close. Right, one more. Yeah. Very good, very good. Right, just each part, just to challenge even more. Okay, so that's nine. Three stumps together. If you have one of those, we'll take one of those away. Okay, we'll see how many shows. We'll give you all about 10 shows to see if you can get all three sets set down, okay? Right, all through there, guys. Okay, off you go. Yeah, we one set there. Yeah, if we take that away, right, Mark, we're good to head here. That's your second set, okay? What do you do, Justin? Can you do it three shots? Nearly, okay, next one. Nearly, next one, come on. Brilliant, fantastic. Okay, took Mark six throws and he had three sets of stumps. Okay, really, really good. He was concentrating on the target all the time. Okay, and they good position. They threw the head nice and still. Point to the target, arm up high. Okay, um, that's something you can try. You can set up a target anywhere at home. Okay, or throw it at a lamppost, anything at all. Okay, just to get a bit of target practice. But it's a really good skill to have in cricket and it's essential. If you want to be a good fielder, you must be able to throw the ball. One other thing, okay, this time. I'm going to mark this time for me. Uh, throw the ball out today. Mark's going to have to move and he has to throw the ball, okay? So he'd have to pick up the ball on the move, get himself into position set and throw the ball into me. Mark, this time you're throwing, I want you to throw the ball over the top of the stumps to me, okay? So you're not hitting this time. Okay, so you're in a really position. Now, if Mark was in a game, okay, Mark, just take a couple of steps back. If Mark was in a game, um, as soon as the bowler starts to walk in, uh, as soon as the bowler starts to run up, okay, to go in to bowl the ball, Mark would start to walk in, okay, so it's what fielders always do, so if you're fielding in a game, okay, and as soon as the bowler starts to run up, okay, the fielder starts walking in towards the batsman getting ready, because the ball will come to you at any time in cricket, okay. So Mark, once my arm goes back, I want you to start walking in, and then adjust yourself, receive the ball, and you can throw away. Okay, ready? Round, good, throw. Beautiful. Right, walking again. Moves round, it's in a good position, throw. Good. Okay, Mark, this time when you pick up, okay, just as you move around the ball, just shows the position you get into before you throw. So it's moving, moves round. Pick up, excellent, okay, perfect position to throw. One more on the other side, the same thing, just show sure you get around the ball. He's round, right. he's up, good, right back out, okay. We speed you up this time, two balls to go, let's see if you can get around to as quick as you can. Right, pick up, throw, good, lovely. Ready again, the ball is just on that side, yeah. Wonderful, okay. Good to be on the move all the time, especially in the Irish game. So this time I would be saying to Gary and John 
um, you're going to get 12 bowls and see how many runs you can score in your 12 bowls. And then they would go out from batting, they get another pair of batters in, okay? So to score runs, okay? Mark, just don't let go of the ball, but pretend to bowl one. Yeah, go ahead, John, place a shot one, guys, take a run. The fellas just cross over and touch down. And when they cross over and touch your bats, then that would be one run. Okay, Gary, this time, you want to always come on this side. Yeah, so this time, the person John's got a spot on 100% that when you stand at this side, you hold the bat in your left hand. And the reason you hold the bat in your left hand is because John can always see the bowler holding the ball and then get ready to run. So this time, the boys are going to do two runs. So Gary, you play a shot, you're going to run a two guys, okay? So, ball comes in. Ball, try to get a shot. Yep, you run. Back again, guys, for the second run. Good, well done. Okay, so John there, just as he was coming in, was using the technique there. He was coming in and sliding his bat in, something we were really touched on. Okay, so this time, guys, just one other thing that we have. If the ball goes out to that side, you're going to run two runs. But I want you always to watch the ball where it goes in the field. So when we're moving up, sorry, what you would do when you play your shot is that you can hit the ball, it goes out to that side of the field. When you go up to do your run, the bat will be in your left hand there. So you can see the ball and make a decision whether you want to run again and then go back and then slide your bat in, okay? John, you down this side, bat in your right hand to see the ball, okay? So um, I'm just going to roll the ball out, guys. We can do a two for me, okay? So you ready? Off you go. Two runs. This is the ball. Have a look at it. Yeah, turn another run there. Good stuff. Okay. Right. So this time. Alright. Mark is going to go out for me in the future. Okay. Now then, fellas. Okay. So just there's a lot of run between the wickets. Alright. I'm going to play the ball out. Okay. Now then, in the cricket, you have three calls. Okay. If you want to run, you shout yes, so you can tell your partner they know whether they run. If it goes straight to a fielder and you're not going to get a run, you call no. Um, if it goes to a fielder and you're, you're not sure whether it's a, a run or not, you shout wait, and then that's followed by yes or no. So just to start off with, all right, I'm going to roll the ball out. I want you to judge, okay, if you can get a run or not. If you're going for a run, you just shout yes, and we'll take one run, okay? Mark, ready for that set of songs? Okay, all right, ready? Yes! Well done. Good call. Gary called yes straight away. The ball and the gap. Okay, so it was always a run and they ran quickly. Okay, John, you're going to call this time, okay? Alright, so let's see. Okay, so we're ready. Yes! Oh! Lovely. Three short single there. Okay, again. Good call. John played the ball down. Two boys ran fast. Peter and I couldn't get there, okay. Right. Ball's hit hard. Good, okay, the ball's hit hard that time. Mark filled it straight away, okay? Are you ready again, guys? Yeah. Good run, guys, good run. Okay. Right, last one. Mark, just come up with a wee bit more now, wee bit. Yeah, right, John, let me test you here. Okay, so see how we call this one. Alright, now then, yeah. just to finish off today, the guys are the last pair in the pairs game. They need one run to win the game. One run. Okay, the scores are level. Okay, so they need one run to win the game. Alright, so let's see, guys. You have to be nice and fast there, I say, Mark. There's a chance that Mark might get a run out. Now, Mark knows the scores because in pairs cricket, you always tell everybody the scores as the game goes on, so everybody's aware of the match situation. Okay, so Mark, you might have an opportunity here for a run out, I said the board's in. Alright, the batter's usually going to have to be nice and sharp. Okay, so we'll have to see if there's a chance of a run out. Okay, Mark, just pick that one up for me. Perfect. Are we ready? Go! Oh, okay, that's a good one. Good call. Yes! Good run, guys. Good run. Okay, so we're ready to go on to the the third umpire, the TV umpire, okay? But you can see the situation that happened there, okay? So, good run, fast run between the batters. Mark came in, feeling really well. He, what throw did he use? His underarm technique, okay? Close to the stumps, went for the run out, got a direct hit, and that been a really close decision, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a great week, okay? We have 
three questions for you, and we're just going to ask you ask the questions now. So today's questions. Question one: How many runs do you score for a shot that goes over the boundary without bouncing? So if it goes straight over the boundary, how many runs does that get you? Question two: What piece of equipment does a wicketkeeper wear? So they wear a specialist piece of equipment. Okay, what's that? And question three: How many bowls is there in an over? So when a bowler bowls an over. Uh, how many bowls is in that over? Okay, there's a certain number, uh, usually all the time. Okay, so guys, I hope everybody enjoyed the course. It was really good fun. Um, every day we covered our cricket warm ups, we co covered our batting skills. Okay, and we got quite a few shots. Um, we had our drive, we had our pull shot, we had our sweep shot, uh, bowling, we done our basic bowling technique. We covered off spin, which is a real specialist skill. Uh, and as well, then we done our fielding, we done our underarm fielding. Um, we've done our long barrier, we've done our overarm throws, uh, and we had our wicket keeping skills as well. And as well, guys, remember if you have, uh, if you're out during the summer, uh, the Paris game, which we just showed you there, and continuous cricket are really, really good fun. Gets everybody involved. Um, you don't hardly need any equipment: a tennis ball, a bat, and a couple of uh, items just for wickets or stumps. Okay. Um, and say cricket's a fantastic uh, summer sport. So if there's an opportunity to go out and play, play, play at home. Uh, play down the park, go to the beach. Okay, thanks for everybody in the course. I hope you really enjoyed it and see you soon. Bye.